Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office with uh, Mark's case, uh, the finale now. Open please, Mark. Um, we've just tightened it down and um, actually our, our torque driver uh, performed very well. We uh, were able to get things and I didn't see much blanching. So for feedback from my lab, um, that's a good sign that we've copied uh, pretty much uh, what we intended to, to, to get. So. Um, we're, um, we did have to adjust the occlusion a little bit, uh, and centric, but there could have been some super eruption. I had that question earlier, you know, do, will you get any super eruption? I think if you look real close at my mirror, uh, try to zoom in, you'll see the tissue, how well it's adapted, and, uh, yeah, we probably have, um, a little more papilla on the mesial than the distal. But a lot of that's from the surgery. The palatal side, open mark, air in the mirror, please. The palatal side actually looks terrific. There's no blanching. Um, tissue looks great. This is our platform switching type of implant, uh, which I rely heavily on, and done with an open tray. Good. That's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll add now. We torqued it down a to the required uh, pressure and now what we're going to do is place some Teflon which goes in pretty easily now. We don't have to etch a full zirconia. So in goes the Teflon as we've shown you in other videos. This one uh, has to be tapered, so I'm going to go with a tapered one. And just go ahead and push that in place. It's just a periodontal probe. It's easy to do. And then we'll just pack it in like an amalgam, right? Or a composite. I put a little pressure on that because I really want it to go into the head. of. So let me have the peripro back. I want it to go into the head of the screw. Uh, help with any anti lock. See, so yeah, there's more deep compression that we can do. So, compress it all the way down. Uh, that's the key. Get that material so it goes all the way into the head of the screw itself. There we go. Have a more narrow plugger if we have any. More narrow plugger. You know what, Jen? I'm going to take this out. I'm not happy with it. So let me have the long explorer. And we'll put in some... I think I got a little air underneath there. I don't want that. So I'm just going to pop out. This is, you know, if I were going back in and removing the composite, just say I had a screw that was loose, this is what would come out. And you just go in and reach down and grab it and pull straight up. And it, it's almost like taffy, you know. That's that's cooled. Uh, and we just a little stringy, but it'll come out. All right. Hang on, let me just get a good bite in there, a good grip. Now we get it all out. Yeah. A little too early for Halloween here. We got a lot of cobwebs coming out of this tooth. Let me just get a good grip on that. There we go. What I'm trying to do is just oh, hang on. Just get this bottom. Once I get the okay, let me have that. Okay. 
and we'll just gently it does its job that's for sure it's a nice sealer um, it's almost like a cement I think that the idea I'm sorry you all right mark the idea is just to put a little bit at a time otherwise you get too much of a wad in there and you get air trap okay I got it out we're gonna put some new in there you okay your side okay we're gonna um Mark's side is bothering him a little bit, so we're going to get him up. I'll be back with the finished video, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.